Hey, it's Mike with Drumline. I'm with Aaron Miklos. He's a model slash stylist. And the reason I say that is because that's what I said a year ago when I met you. Hi. <laughs> nice to see you again. Now, I knew nothing about Aaron Miklos except how to say your name because you told me. So uh, I want to talk a little bit about what you do in your entire career. I know you've been on uh, magazine covers. You change your look from this to pinup girls. You do that old, like, 40s, 50s car look. Um, you have uh, been in movies. So let's just go through... Everything about you since your birth. <laughs> That's going to be a lot. What do you want to cover? Uh, uh, I want to know, you know, let's, your professional style, style is in Hollywood, basically, or, or L.A. Yeah. So explain, like, some of your things, like, okay, I come to you, or you get called what kind of a job, who calls you. You know, you got personal shopper calls, you got movies calling you, you've been in film, you got magazine covers calling you. So, you know, the kind of things you do on a, a daily basis. Starting with uh, in the morning, what do you have for breakfast? <laughs> well, um, as far as styling, the way that I get those is I get my non-entertainment clients from Yelp, from the internet. People find me, they'll randomly reach out because something happened in their life usually where uh, they're ready for a change, they want to update their look. I mean, as far as entertainment clients, those are all referrals. So it's kind of a Cash 22, it's like you have to have one job to get another job for that and um, a lot of luck. <laughs> so. Well, I see uh, you're on uh, your fate, your uh, Aaron Miklo stylist.com, or what is the uh, the sites that you have? Um, I have my model actress site, which is AaronMiklo.com, and then I wanted to separate it just okay. because, um, you know, like I, I didn't want clients to be confused if they were coming to hire me as a stylist when they see all these modeling pictures where I'm not wearing very many clothes, and <laughs> I wanted to be a professional, so oh. I separated the two sites. Oh, I see. How do you get like a magazine gig? Um, can, I, can I get a magazine gig? <laughs> it's kind of weird how it started. I mean, I was just talking to my girlfriend over there. She's a model as well. And with publications, it's kind of like you have to have them to get them. The same with styling. Uh, and then once you've had a certain amount, you get people that reach out to you because they want to use your brand, your name, your face on, on a magazine. So it's, it's interesting how it all works. It's kind of knowing people and then working really hard. Um, putting yourself out there and then just continuously shooting, whether it's for a magazine or just for putting new content out. You have two different earrings on today. Was that intentional? <laughs> yes. Okay. So it's uh, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of focus. Like today, you're feeling punk rock. I, I put a comment on Facebook. Sometimes you feel like a punk. Sometimes you don't. I hope you took that as a compliment. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I I always feel more at home like this. Like I feel more comfortable and. Honestly, as a punk, like not a lot is expected of you. And when you're doing pinup and you're doing retro, I love it and I love to be glamorous occasionally, but it's kind of exhausting and it's uncomfortable. Like I just did a car show last month and I did the whole pinup. I felt beautiful and glamorous, but after a couple hours of standing in heels and like just the whole thing, I was like, God, I'm really uncomfortable. And like this, I just, I feel comfortable. My hair's up, I don't have to worry about it. The makeup's on, like the clothes are there and it's not, so much about being prim, proper, and perfect, which is what pinup is really about. It's like creating the mold of the perfect woman and every hair is in place, makeup is perfect, outfit is perfect, and it's a little exhausting sometimes. So I prefer that more for an event where it's maybe a couple hours or a photo shoot. But for an event like this where it's all day, starting in the morning, going until the late evening, I love dressing like this because it's more comfortable and I just, I'm not expected so much. Okay, so anyway, what do you think of my particular style? <laughs> Should I lose the hat? Because the hat is uh, a friend that has Sullen company, uh, Sullen clothing. So I think it's a cool hat. The cool hat. Okay. What yeah. about the shirt, a Harley Davidson shirt? Um, I think it's cool. I mean, we've got a lot of different things going on it here. Is, I mean, it is confused, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. For men's fashion, um, I try to teach my male clients when we go on personal shopping trips that. The difference between men and women is women think in terms of outfits and men think in terms of, okay, shirt, pants, hat, I'm good. <laughs> and whereas a woman, she'll make an outfit for where she's going. Like, right. this is my outfit for errands. This is my casual outfit. This is my outfit for when I'm going on a fancy date, et cetera. So, so what do you say? It's shirt, pants, hats. That's all I thought about today. That was pretty much my thought process. Yes. Yeah. That's I had on <laughs> pants. I had on a shirt. Somebody gave me the hat. Yes. I did think about the shirt. It was either this or a uh, t-shirt. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. And when I work with my male clients, I try to teach them those things. And it's not that everyone has to be so good at fashion. That's why people can hire a stylist to help you with it. So I could be like, Aaron, I need to go shopping. Help me. 
yeah, that's pretty much what most of my male clients are, and surprisingly, most of my personal shopping clients are men. I've only had, I think, a couple women, and then the rest are men. Who was your tallest male client? Oh, God. I'm trying um, to get a celebrity name. I'm just messing with you. Um, <laughs> okay, anyway, besides that, you are a musical supporter. You're out there at punk rock bowling. I met you at a music show. You like the music. Yeah, it's so important to me. I mean, growing up in Florida, that's how I started to have friends because I was always kind of an outcast. I, I didn't really fit in. I didn't want to be like other people. And where I grew up, that was frowned upon to be original and different. And so I started going to punk shows um, and I would go by myself because I didn't have any friends. And, you know, I started meeting people and the music felt really special to me. It was something that I felt like I had when I had nothing because I was lonely and sad and a depressed teenager. So um, it carried over into my adult life. And honestly, I met my husband at a punk rock show. So okay. <laughs> we met at Rancid. We had our first kiss in the oh mosh pit. <laughs> That's lovely. So, I mean, he's, a, he's a good looking uh, athletic uh, husband, I would say. You know, what is he, a sports guy? <laughs> Hell no, he's not a sports guy. He's a musician. He's a musician. He sits in the bed and eats pretzels while I'm on the treadmill <laughs> working out. Oh, okay. well, that's a good husband because <laughs> yeah. he's there with you. I met. Aaron Micklow for 40 seconds and I go that girl's pretty cool she likes to have fun and uh, she's cool so a year later I researched you a little bit and I thought now I think she's even cooler so the, uh, over the course of the year I found out more about you the more I learned the more I thought that, that's something thank you that means a lot it really makes me feel good and it's it's such an awkward thing because I didn't have friends growing up like ever and I was really hated in school and now in my adult life it, it's really flattering to be liked. <laughs> Especially if we're looking so strange, you know, because most people don't like this look and right. it's it's nice to be in an alternative community with music lovers and musicians who appreciate it. Well, my uh, editor here, Anthony Busso, is uh, kind of a punk, punk rock, you know, mohawk and... Uh, he does the whole thing, and he's the classiest, coolest guy in the world. And, um, you know, he's the best guy out there. So uh, I like the look. You know, it depends on uh, what you're using it for. You know, if you feel punk and you're going to a punk show or you're playing a punk band, and, you know, that's great. You know, I, I think it would work for me, but, you know, yeah. I, I, I think that you can't judge a people by the way they look. Otherwise, you're missing out. Yeah, I think you should do what feels right. And, I mean, you know, do your own thing, and if it feels good to you, then whatever. If people don't like it, they can fuck off. <laughs> well, we can say that because it's on the internet. I got uh, one more thing. Uh, sometimes uh, there's certain, I, there's there's guys that inspire me from drumming, but there's girls that inspire me from creativity, like you. I see you do different things, different styles. We're even working on your house, and like, oh, we're painting this color. Or, you know, this is one girl that I met, Kelly McGrath's a singer. She cooks this incredible stuff, and I'm like, and Chloe Michelle is another girl, a little more like you, that makes all this stuff and like potpourri, and then she does all this artwork, and I like I look at it and I think, wow, and I feel more creative when I see it. it I do check it out. Yeah, I mean, I think if you're a creative person and that's the way that you want to live your life, I don't have a normal job. My jobs are model, actress, wardrobe stylist, and I, I feel like if if you just need to create, you're gonna create in however outlet you can, whatever feels good for you. So, um, yeah. You gotta sell yourself like a musician. You're out there really pushing all the time, really working hard, and that's impressive. And uh, I'm so happy that I got to know a little bit more about you. Well, thank you so much. I think it's, you know, if, if you're passionate about something, it's your life and there is no other way. And that's all you're, you're gonna do, you know? And you wanna work towards your goals and yeah. Next year, my goal is to look better, and uh, I'm going to call you, be calling you. I'd love to style you. Okay. That'd be fun. All right. All right. Great. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Great. That's awesome. That was awesome, huh? Thank you.